Ugh. What's up, everyone? I watched this video with Stephen Fry on it, like, as soon as I woke up, because my internet was out on Comcast then, so I decided to take a little nappy nap on top of the sleep I already got. And, uh, I watched this video about the... How many people are incarcerated? And that, and that got me thinking. I started, I started looking for some numbers. We have here the numbers of how many people, the, they call it the correctional population. What's the correction, the, the Bureau of Justice, Justice Statistics calls it the population, uh, correctional population. What is a correctional population? It is the number of people in prison, in jail, on parole, or on probation. Totaling just under 7 million of our citizens are going through this process. Um, in a nation of about 300 million, that's quite a large number of people to be having going in, have, having in the judicial system at all. There is uh, just about under 4 million people on, proba uh, on probation. There's... A million and a half people in prison. There's just under a million people on parole and just under a million people in, in jail. So we got a pretty pretty large problem here dealing with the sizable uh, part of our populace. For sure, some of the people that uh, are in prison deserve to be there, but a lot of the people don't, a lot of them have, a lot of people have been arrested for non-violent crimes, like, a uh, possession of marijuana, which is legal in a few states now, and may soon become federally legal, but who knows, um, the problem of, is indicative of a government that's enforcing its laws in the wrong way, which is key, we don't have we don't have keepers of the peace. We have people who enforce laws. There's a key difference. The keepers of the peace are kind of like firemen. Firemen stop fires from happening when they get called. Cops go around and try to extract money from the, the citizenry to continue on getting more stuff, getting more things. Also, there's been proven that there are corrupt, there's a corrupt system involved where maybe a judge will be greasing hands, or he'll be getting greased. His he'll be getting a little change in his pockets from prison wardens because we have private prisons, which means they make money off of owning prisoners, which means they will give money to have corrupt people put innocent citizens into prison. That's just that happens. There's proof of it. There's more than one case where that's been happening. That there's so. That happens all the time. That's just, that just happens all the time. Uh, we'd like to think that's not part of our justice system, but our justice system is more of a money, is more of another form of taxing money from the people rather than keeping the people safe. Because we can all see, if you have enough money and you just grease enough hands, no matter what you did, you're not going to be seeing a punishment for it. But if you're poor and you did something that's not even violent, you're going to be, you're pretty done for. It's pretty, it's, it's over for you. We have a huge problem. This, this is a huge problem in America today. Seven million people in the correctional, using our correctional process, the correctional pro, uh, population, as they put it, it's way too high, way too many people. Uh, we all know that the system is corrupt. We all know that the people that lead us are totally corrupt. Why would we pretend like the laws that they enforce on people are not morally as bankrupt as they are? Have a nice day.